Well, I thought I had an interesting topic for today. And I don't think I can speak right now. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I had an interesting topic for today. My dog is like sitting over there and like, what's going on, Daddy? Why are you turning on lights and adjusting things? But um, I was going to talk about work and everything. I was like, wait a minute. I've talked about this before. I've talked about it quite a bit. So I'm changing tack or changing topic or whatever you want to say. And I'm actually going to talk about video games. Really? Video games? Come on. You haven't talked about that enough, have you? Nah, not yet. Okay, but let's actually move the camera. Here, let's see if I actually get a... That gets a bit of better light. Over here, it looks like I've got a complete shadow on my face. Keep forgetting to take my glasses off. Um, but yeah. Video games. And I've talked about how, why I'm collecting all about my arcade and my son and how I've liked everything to, um, kind of, I want to experience it with him. I want something that we can share together. And that's the main reason why many of the games I've gotten are multiplayer games. I don't have a lot of games you play one at a time. Like, oh, first this person plays and you're done. And the next person plays. Frogger is that way. But Frogger is a game I think people can sit around and it, it, a lot of people can watch one person play. I uh, have the Nintendo game, which is like the Versus system. And there are a lot of games you can play. But it's called the Versus system for a reason. There are a lot of games you can play simultaneously against each other. There's a lot of games you can't also, though. But it's a good little, it's a good arcade. It's a Nintendo one. I love the Nintendo. But the rest, Tubin, it's a racing game. The uh, NBA game, it's a four-player game. The Neo Geo, almost every game on it, simultaneous play. The Revolution X, simultaneous play. Um, the Rampage, three players at one time. So, kind of gives you an idea. Multiplayer, multiple people one time playing the game. So, um... That's my primary reason. Secondary reason. I grew up in arcades. I mean, every Friday, my aunt would take me to an arcade. And the one that passed away uh, just not long ago. And it was every Friday. We would all, a lot of times on Friday, because we went to a private school, um, we would actually leave school half a day. And we would go to an arcade. And I remember, because uh, she would go shopping, and me and my brother, my brother, he'd go to the theater sometimes. Most of the time, I think. But I would I, always, I was always in an arcade. And I don't have all the games I played back then, but I do have a number of them. NBA Jam, I got NBA Hang Time. I want to actually get the other games like Turtles, Simpsons, X-Men, um, things like that. Those are uh, the Dub Dub Superstars, I think was it called. I can't remember, but it's something like that. So, that's the reason for that machine. Tubin. I played Tubin, the crap out of Tubin when I found it. Neo Geo. I've always loved Neo Geo. I love the red, the red cart, the cartridge, <laughs> the red cabinet, and just the way it looks. Revolution X. I'm a huge fan of Aerosmith. We were playing the crap out of it. Nintendo, I've always been a Nintendo fanboy. I love Nintendo games. Frogger. Frogger is always my... Actually, I prefer Frogger to Pac-Man. I don't know why. Everybody's like, oh, my Pac-Man, or Galaga, or, or Galaxian. No, Frogger. I think Frogger's a better game. I, I, I have more fun with it. It's always held a special place in my heart. And Rampage. Rampage's always been one of my favorite games. So, a few games I'm looking for that I played the crap out of in arcades Mortal Kombat, uh, Xenophobe. Um, that's two games I'm really looking for. 
the Mortal Kombat one because I can put Wrestle the WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3, and 4 in the same cabinet. Uh, if I can do that, then it saves a lot of room. And Xenophobe is pretty much one game in a cabinet, but I love Xenophobe. I play the crap out of it. And if I can get those two games in here with what's in the garage, I'm not even sure if I could fit all that in into the <laughs> into that room. I could, I mean, I could probably put, put put one more game here, maybe one game over there. I'm pointing, like you can see. Let's actually see. Ah, that room's dark because the wife and Adrian's asleep right now, and I don't want to. Let's see. Well, it's very, very dark. But if I move all these machines that way, and I move this that way, I should be able to fit one more machine there. Beside that, or anywhere between that and that, however I want to do it. But one more sh machine could, should go there. And over here, that right there, that's actually a, a, a tube TV. And if I move it, I might be able to fit another game there. That's a big might, or maybe. So, like I said, that's a pretty big maybe. I don't even think my camera is focused on me, is it? I think it's focused now. But yeah, so that's my idea. And over here, I'm not moving the camera again, sorry. But over here I have uh, my son's like little house. and um, There's this, actually it's a, it's a stand for like an entertainment center. And this wall here. So, And then I should be able to put the other stuff I want here. Um, I may not be able to put one game over there. I might have to put it over here. If that's the case, I believe everything will fit. Yeah, I'd be cutting it close. But I believe it will. And if I can get everything to go in there, I believe I would have a really good arcade for my son and me to play in. And hopefully, when he gets a little bit older, he can find some friends that he can get along with and form good relationships with. And they would actually enjoy playing too. Um, the thing is, with arcade games, you can they're designed to, have to be able to get the crap beat out of them. And still work. I mean, think about how these machines are, and they're still working. They're built pretty nice. They're built pretty solid. As long as you keep up with like certain things, it's like people have found out over the years. Oh wait, this goes bad on arcade machines. This goes bad. Oh, this happens. Oh, if you watch out for this, this machine will last a lot longer. So basically. Um, when something comes up, take care of it. Don't let it sit and just become a, a really humongous problem later on. So, that's, like I said, those are my plans. And that's my idea for my arcade. And the reason why I've always played in them. But, or why I'm so adamant about it right now. Is it, that is my childhood. Anywhere we went on a vacation, and my family go shopping, I'd be like, just drop me off the arcade. And they do, I'd be at the arcade for two to three hours. They literally they would give me five dollars, and most games cost, I mean, if, if, if it's a new game, it's 50 cents then. So, oh man, I do miss arcades. I wish there was one close to me. There's a Dave and Buster's, about an hour and a half, I believe. Right drive away from me. But that's not really a real arcade. That's a, um, I'm not sure what you would call it, but I would love to find one. But probably not going to. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane with me. If you enjoyed arcades, let me know. If you played in them a lot, I know I spent a lot of time in them. I made a lot of friends. 
I mean, a lot of people met a lot of people that don't get me wrong. These are not people that I um, kept in touch with, but this is because every Friday there are people that thought I because we would travel to another to another town to go to our case. That's because the shopping where I lived was horrible. So we would actually always travel. That's about a 45 minute drive to where we go, but there's an arcade in that mall. And my aunt would shop while I'd play in arcades. People thought I lived there. They'd be like, oh, what school do you go to? And I'd say it, like, oh, it's a private school. And, I, and I, it, did, it took me a break. After I met somebody, I'd realize, oh, wait, no, I'm actually not from your man. I'm actually from 45 minutes away. <laughs> and it was like, oh, why are you here? Oh, my aunt goes shopping. And they were like, oh, okay, cool. And, um, oh, man. I do wish I could actually find pictures of the arcade I went to. Uh, I do remember the most fun I had at it whenever it was remodeling because it was really narrow and all the games were packed really tight together and it was really dark. And I really liked that because it made the arcade louder and it was, the lights were, it was a little bit, it was darker in there. So the, scr the screens from the, ar the arcade machines is your primary light source and it was just this sensory overload and it that really stands out to me when that when they did that the, that those memories in my mind when i think about that arcade there's an aladdin's castle i believe that's yeah the Aladdin's castle that's what stands out in my head but hope you had a good day mine's pretty good talk to you tomorrow